What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another Borto episode review, and uh, today we go ahead and we start off episode 6 of Borto, uh, beginning off with what happened in the last episode, which was episode 5, if that wasn't clear enough already. But basically what happened was, is that in the end of the last episode, Shino ended up getting controlled by this shadowy, like, black, purple, like, like force or whatever he ended up getting possessed by it that's what he ends up saying in the end of the episode he felt like he was being possessed by something and the, th uh, the three people who are there with Chino are uh, Mitsuki, Shigadai, and Boruto himself you know and they have no idea what the hell is going on they just think that uh, Shino is mad uh, because of what happened in the last episode if you don't know what happened in the last episode uh, go watch the episode but basically he thinks that like he's mad about like what happened and that they should apologize and like they're they're starting to apologize but because uh, Shino is being possessed by like this shadowy purple uh, chakra aura I guess that, that it, that's what it is um, he is then saying like I don't care I'm just gonna go ahead and kill you and so the whole episode as he's being possessed by this fucking force of nature or whatever he's being uh, he's going after Borto, Shikidai, and Mitsuki uh, to kill them, basically. And so, uh, in the beginning, when like shit kind of starts hitting the fan, he absorbs most of Borto's chakra. He absorbs most of Borto's chakra. Mitsuki, Shikidai, and Borto have to end up, you know, basically running away because they're going after who is at a Jonin level, you know. And Borto, he can obviously see that like this is going on with Shino. And so it's like, even though, so it's like, even though, like, they can't, like, necessarily, like, beat him, they still have to stop him, you know, that, because uh, this is Shino, he can uh, manipulate bugs because of his clan, and uh, we, we've we seen what he can do, but the thing that's really different about Shino right now is because he's being possessed, he's lost complete, like, control of his, of his... What's the word I'm looking for? He, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know the word I'm looking for. I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head. But he lost his composure. There, that's the word I'm looking for. He lost his composure, and so he's kind of just letting, or letting his bugs like kind of just roam around freely throughout the whole forest. Because uh, uh, as you've seen from Shippuden, uh, Shino can use his bugs basically just, you know, for tracking. That's what uh, him and his team were, uh, you know, were used for back in Shippuden and stuff like that. Um, he, uh, he can track like pretty much anybody at a certain uh, at a certain distance or at a very far distance and so the episode continues on Shino's going after all of them and then uh, they kind of like they kind of like uh, lost him for the time being of course and then they kind of go off and start talking about um, like what's going on with Shino and then Mitsuki brings up the fact that like Boruto was talking about how he can see uh, it, it's just like what happened with metal and uh, metal and uh, a couple other people that were affected by the same uh, purple chakra uh, by uh, you know in, in the hidden leaf and so board is going off like yeah he kind of just like snaps and he's kind of like the same as everyone that was, that also has been like kind of affected like like in the last few episodes it's really strange and they don't really know what the hell is going on. And so Shikidai, you know, being the son of Shikamaru, he's incredibly intelligent, so he comes up with the plan. He comes up with the plan, and so because he also then finds out that Mitsuki can, like, stretch out his arms, like, really far distances, the, they come up with the plan, and then I'm going to skip forward a couple of scenes, I apologize. Nothing really happens, so what happens is that uh, Shikidai and Boruto ended up uh, becoming decoys so that way they can actually distract Shino, uh, whilst uh, they're like by like a like a waterfall and like a pond or whatever, right? They're like they're like around a, that certain kind of area, and so Mitsuki's like stretches his arms underwater trying to get closer to Shino, whilst Shikidai and Borto are actually distracting uh, distracting him so that way he doesn't you know notice what the hell is actually going on, right? 
and so uh, Mitsuki ends up taking uh, Shino underwater and then uh, we find out another nature transformation that uh, Mitsuki can use. He can also not only use wind style, he can also use uh, lightning style apparently, which uh, I guess shouldn't really surprise me, but he, he can use lightning style and so he uses lightning style snake lightning snake lightning so it, that kind of gives you another it kind of gives you another hint on who he could possibly be, be related to or who he trained under uh, over at the sound village but I don't know so Shino kind of snaps out of it right he's out of it uh, he's not being like possessed or controlled anymore but Mitsuki, he lost, he lost a lot of chakra uh, using that jutsu that he used. And so Boruto ends up having to go underwater to try to save him. But because he doesn't have a lot of chakra anymore, he starts fucking drowning underwater with Mitsuki. And so Shino, you know, now, now being a good guy again, he starts going underwater to save him. And we actually kind of find out that he can use a summoning jutsu. A specific summoning jutsu that basically summons a giant fucking bug. Which shouldn't surprise you because his whole fucking clan is revolved around bugs, you know? So, <laughs> so the end of the episode is basically just kind of like uh, Shino, like, kind of trying to, like, want to resign as a teacher because of what he ended up doing to uh, Mitsuki, Shikidai, and Boruto. But uh, Shikidai and Boruto were like, nah, don't do that. You're a good teacher. We like you. <laughs> and so. The final scene, right, is uh, Shino and Hokage's office, and Hokage, for whatever reason you don't know, is, is Naruto, and Naruto's there, and he's like, yeah, this kind of happened, it's whatever, and thanks for looking after all the kids and stuff like that, and a good, and good thing it, he wasn't himself when he was attacking uh, Boruto, Shikidai, and Mitsuki, because uh, if he was, they would have been dead. They would have been dead. But besides that, um, they finally, finally took notice of, you know, the shit that's happening, you know, like the shit that's been happening with all these fucking people that have been like taking control, like o about like this aura or whatever. They finally take notice because if Sheena was able to get controlled by, if Sheena was able to get controlled by like this, whatever this mysterious like figure or whatever it's just like what the hell like do we do do we take notice and that's what they're gonna do and I, I kind of just went on random rambling I kind of apologize for doing that I, I didn't really know what else to really say throughout the whole episode I do like this episode because it kind of like shows us shows us a little bit more of Shino and kind of how he felt like throughout all of Shippuden even though like we kind of like knew a little bit about him anyways, but it felt like we didn't know much about him as is, you know, as the character of Shino and who he is. So it, it kind of interests me with that. And not only that, but we also get a little bit more insight of Mitsuki, of course, you know, because Mitsuki is this new character uh, who we haven't, <clears throat> excuse me, that we haven't seen. And I'm honestly just more excited to see more about him and all this other stuff uh, and also just also this this dojutsu that Boruto is able to use but only when like this this figure kind of like m makes a, a muck of everything so it's kind of just whatever I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here I kind of I'm gonna apologize again for kind of just ram rambling on like I said I didn't really know what else to really talk about throughout this whole thing but for whatever reason if you did enjoy the video be sure to uh, drop a like in the video if you want to see uh, more Boruto reviews and also more Dragon Ball Super reviews Be sure to also subscribe to the channel and uh, Because of the video that I made uh, like two days ago about me twitch streaming my twitch link will also be in the description uh, I might be streaming actually after this video goes up So feel free to go check out my twitch channel if you haven't already um, Anyways, that's the end of the video like I said like subscribe peace out have a wonderful day and yeah peace